So the DJI Spark, is it worth the purchase now that we're coming into the 2019 holiday season and into 2020? Or is it past its prime like these fall colors that I miss every year? Let's talk about it. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Let me just say that I do have a drone. It's a Chroma Blade 4K. It's about the size of a Phantom. And I do have the Mini on the way. But I had a project that I had to go out of town with. And I wanted to pack real light. So I didn't take the Phantom. But I did still want to get a bird in the sky. So I picked up the Spark off of eBay for about $200 with three batteries. No controller. For me, it was a good purchase. But... I wanted to still have the ability to get more range with the controller. So I picked that up at a separate time and I didn't know that it was next to impossible to pair a used controller with a used spark. And there seems to be no real way to combine the two. So that was my first initial issue with the spark is I still can't use the controller. So any shot you see, it's going to be just using my phone through the DJI 4 app. All right, so I'm not going to go over the laundry list of specs and features that the Spark has because there's a plethora of different videos that do so already. But I will give you a look at the DJI 4 app that the Spark uses, and I'd like to say that it is very smart and useful. One thing I greatly appreciate is that it tells you when the device needs to be calibrated, and if you have the controller, when that needs to be calibrated as well. You can expect to find your manual settings here, your different features such as the tripod, hand gesture mode, and smart modes. So in short, I would like to say you can pick up a Spark very cheap, especially if you opt out of the controller. And it's real easy to use. Compared to the interface of my Horizon hobby, where I have to do the drone dance and calibrate it every time I want to get in the sky. And that one is cumbersome, so I just don't want to take it anywhere. The Spark is tiny. And... I think it's a great investment if you just are a enthusiast want to get into drone shots or you don't want to be carrying around a giant drone everywhere you go any day now we're going to be seeing the mini drop and that's a three axis gimbal drone 30 minutes flight time 2.7k 30 frames per second full hd at 60 frames per second whereas the spark it's only full hd 30 frames per second a little bit heavier so you're going to have to register it with the faa it's a two-axis gimbal, and you can only fly it for a flight time of 15 minutes, whereas the Mini is a 30-minute flight time. So in short, I would like to say that if you already have the Spark with the Fly More combo, I would hold on to that. I don't see it as a giant upgrade to get 2.7K and 60 frames per second at full HD, but that's just my personal opinion. If you don't yet have a drone and these small bodies are compelling to you, I would wait for the Mavic Mini. Now we are gonna go over that drone as well and compare the two in an average person review because I'm not affiliated with anyone. And I wanna keep it honest. So we do have the Mini coming later this week. We will compare the two. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.